Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and on Windows 10, there's also an update today, February 29th, 2024. This is the uh, cumulative update previews. Uh, the preview updates are bug fixes that are released the last week of the month in general. It was supposed to actually arrive the 27th. For some reason, it arrived the 29th, so maybe they needed a little more testing. So on Windows 10, uh, this update, of course, arrives as a cumulative update. And if you don't do anything, actually, you don't get it. You'll get it with Patch Tuesday because these are optional for today. But on Patch Tuesday, they will be installed at the same time as Patch uh, Security Updates if you don't do anything. So in the uh, update for Windows Update uh, for Windows 10 22H2, the uh, <coughs> updates are available and show up as KB. 503-4843, and it says here, Cumulative Update Preview for Windows 10 version 22H2. So these preview updates uh, fix bugs and in some cases adds a few little details. Uh, here it says that this update will actually add a couple of little things within Windows. Uh, one is the sharing of URLs or you know web addresses to apps like WhatsApp, Gmail, Facebook, and LinkedIn, um, and sharing to X, which was formerly Twitter, is um, now a feature that will roll out. So for now, WhatsApp, Gmail, Facebook, you can uh, share with the sharing option any links to some of the apps. And of course, Twitter is coming. And also, they will not... Sometimes when you would actually install some games on a secondary drive, it would not remain there. With this update, this will make sure that your games stay there also. And the Windows Backup app will be only visible to the markets where it actually works before it was on every computer. For the rest, it's bug fixes. So the address um, fixes for virtual desktops on Azure um, virtual desktop machines. There's Windows LO for Business that uh, has problems with authentication. There's also Microsoft Edge, which has um, a wrong Internet Options data settings for the in interface. Um, apart from that, nothing much. Remote desktop web authentication. You might not be able to connect uh, to some uh, silvering cloud endpoints. So you could see that there's really nothing much happening actually in here and that it doesn't... Uh, fix really any major issues basically once this is done you can check out if you have the latest version of windows 10 you just type winver and go and check it out you should be on 19045.4123 with this update installed you got no problems everything's working fine uh, just ignore it, and it'll be there in Patch Tuesday with the security updates. And finally, for those that are asking, because I'm sure there are some watching this video saying, does it fix the famous KB503? No, it doesn't. This will be addressed separately. Remember that KB503-4441 was a separate entity. It was a unique update outside of the cumulative updates, which means it will get its fix outside of the cumulative updates also. And remember, I have a video on the channel. If you don't want to see it, just just hide it. It doesn't matter. Too much people are focusing on the fact that it doesn't work install, where you can just hide it and forget about it. If you're not using BitLocker, there's a zero, absolutely zero security hazard from that. That's why it was released separately, because they knew some computers would have issues. If they um, you know, a lot of people say, well, this was wrong. It's, it's no, they knew that it was going to happen. And they issued it anyway with idiotic, you know, ways of fixing it for people that should not be playing with partitions. It's, it's, that's the disconnect where people thought, well, they just have to do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people do it and that's fine, but don't ask people to do things like that. So, um, it will be fixed on its own. And Microsoft actually talked about it this week. They're saying they are working on a fix that will be rolled out and that will just fix the problem. So don't worry about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.